we're going to play a little bit of this Pokemon Shield. So I picked this up yesterday, release date, and I just haven't had a chance to actually play the game yet. So uh, we're going to get into it. I originally had the double pack pre-ordered and then I decided, you know what? I don't need the double pack. And so I decided to go with Shield. Probably because I think there's a dark gem in Shield, whereas there's a fighting gem in Sword. So let's choose a language here. And I want to choose a photo from the lineup. Um, let's do that. What is your name? All right. So if you guys play Pokemon, let me know either in chat if you're watching live or if you're watching a replay, especially on YouTube, let me know in the comments down below. Do you name your character after yourself or do you name them something else? So we're going to go with that. Cool fireworks. Beautiful cities, many Pokemon with which we share our lives. We do. That's a new Pokemon, I think. His name is Rose. Okay. Pleasure to be here. Now turn your gaze to the gallery region's greatest Pokemon trainer, your undefeated champion. Who's this going to be? Champion Leon. Ooh, he's got a Charizard. I like Charizard. Charizard Dynamax. Everybody looks on in shock. got a pro controller I'm playing with. Thing is going crazy. Oh, there's your title screen. Thing is going crazy rumbling when he was uh, doing that thing. Munchlax. Hello, hello. That your flash new phone, Rick? Flash, flash new phone. Were you watching Lee's ex exhibition match on it? You can't cheer him on with your hands full. The only way to cheer on Lee is with this famous Charizard pose. What is that? It's like the Muscle Man dance. So 
He doesn't even want to watch it live. <laughs> He's like, I'll just watch the recording. <laughs> Skip the commercials, right? Well, that's kind of cool. I guess I'm going to get a present from him. All right, time to get up and let's see. What do we got? What do we got? Munchlax leaves leftovers around its bed from time to time. What is that? It looks like a toy. So I guess that's a leftover. I don't know what it is, but okay. All right, let's get this bag. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I want to talk to him. I woke him up. He's like, not happy. He's like, hey, man. All right, let's get this bag. There's my mum. Bag and hat. I like his room. That's cool. And there it is. So Pokemon games recently have always had some form of the current gen neck, uh, Nintendo console, I've noticed. So I think, uh, I can't remember what it was last, but um, I think it was a Nintendo Wii or a Wii U, I remember. But now it's a Switch, so that's kind of cool. Adventure guide. Okay, open the X menu by pressing the X button. How about that? Save your progress by selecting save from the X menu. You can also check your location and your next destination by selecting the town map and you can check this adventure guide anytime you want in the key items section of your bag. All right. And there's the screen they were talking about. So there's the bag, there's the save, there's the town map and there are options. So if you look at the town map. Hey. All right. Oh, my video is overlaid on it. Let's pop that off of the screen and we can see the whole thing. All right, Hop is waiting for you. Better head outside. So I suppose that's what I have to do next. I'll save later. All right. Let me say goodbye to my mom. Oh, don't you look a treat. I knew that bag would suit you. Now hurry along. Hop is waiting, isn't he? But remember, no going into the forest for the two of you. Oh, come on. What fun is that? All right, let's go. This way. Pokemon everywhere. I do. See you later. Check my mail. Nope. Ha! Have a look at you, Rick. That old bag looks like it could pull you over. At least we know that it should hold anything Lee might bring, even if it's as big as a Snorlax. What is he doing? He's trying to get out. That's what he's trying to do. <laughs> Everyone knows there's scary Pokemon living in the slumbering weld. He doesn't care. He kind of took a head start, didn't he? That was not kind of cool. All right, let's let's roll. I'm not even sure where his house is. It's not fair. Do I have to open up the map? I think I do. Um, it didn't really tell me where his house is. He just bailed on me. Could this be his house? I don't know.
If it's not his house, I'm walking into somebody else's. Nope, it's his house. Okay. Here we are at last stop. Where's Lee? Have you got him crammed in a cupboard? Come on. All right, so we got to go find his brother. You can't miss on your chance to meet the undefeated champion. I'll wait for you out on the route. Couldn't you just fly on Charizard? Or is that not possible? Should I check around this house? No, I don't think I can do that. Okay. Uh, actually, maybe I can. Is there anything in the house? Somehow it doesn't feel right looking in this house, though. Hmm. All right, let's go. He said he's waiting outside. Let me see how they... All right. Just I thought he said he was waiting outside on the route. Yep, there he is. Let's get a move on. Why are all those people down there? By the... What is that, a church? Wild Pokemon can come out of nowhere if you walk, walk through patches of tall grass. I've got my Wulu with me, so I'm ready for battles against wild Pokemon, of course, but not you, Rex, so we'll steer clear of the tall grass as we go. I need a Pokemon. Hold up. I want to see if I have any Pokeballs. I've got a potion. Oh, I don't want to use that. Okay. Nope, no Pokeballs. And I have an adventure guide and a fishing rod. So I can fish up Pokemon, but I don't think I can catch them because I have nothing to catch them with. So, okay, let's go down here. Ooh, but I see a Pokeball. Okay, he's not going to let me do it. All right, let's go. Dead ahead from here. Okay, that must be the station then. And I bet you he is hanging out where that crowd of people in are because he's the champion and they want to greet him. Sure looks like it. The crowd goes wild. Hello, hello, Wedgehurst. Your champion, Leon, is back. I promise I'll keep doing my best to deliver the greatest battles for you all to watch. It's our unbeatable champion, Leon. You and Charizard are the greatest. Thank you for that. I hope you'll all carry on trailing up your Pokemon and never shy from battle. And come challenge me for the champion title. We're on it. We've all been working on our battle skills, just like you have taught us, Lee. But that Charizard of yours is too strong for the likes of us to take on. Too true. That Charizard is blazingly strong, but other Pokemon can be strong as well. That's why I want the strongest of challengers to fill the gym challenge and come battle me. My wish is for Galar's trainers to work together to become the strongest in all the world. I really like Charizard. Oh, brothers. So my number one fan in all the world has come out of his way to pick me up. Look at you, Hop. I reckon you've grown exactly an inch and a quarter since the last time I saw you. Bingo! That's the sort of sharp eye that's kept you undefeated so long, eh, Lee? All these bright eyes over here. I've got it. You must be Rick, am I right? Oh, well, you're right. I've heard loads about you from my little brother. 
I'm the Galar region's greatest ever Pokemon champion and a massive Charizard fan too. People call me the unbeatable Leon. Humble, isn't he? Come on, Lee, and you, Rick. That I can beat both of you back home. That hop always wanted to be the best, isn't he? What a proper rival of his own. I bet he'd push himself to become something truly special. Well, everyone, I bid you fell well for today, but don't you fret. He's like, always be around to make sure everyone in Galar can have a champion time. Is the present. Who is he gonna give me a starter Pokemon, maybe? That would be interesting. The greatest gift from the greatest champion. It's showtime, everyone. He is, isn't he? The screen is black. Take a good look, you two. Yep, here we go. What am I going to pick? Grookey. Score Bunny. Sobble. Oh, man. What am I going to pick? I kind of want that bunny. But then I also kind of want... I don't know about that guy. But that guy's cool. He's like monkey. So water type, grass type, and fire type. Hmm. I don't know what to pick. All right, line up everyone. Which will you choose? I don't know. That's a hard decision. Okay, so I don't think I want the water type. So then it really comes down to Grookey or Score Bunny. Let me see. All right, Score Bunny is fire type and it's filled to burst. It's filled to bursting with fiery passion. I'm going to say no for a minute. I think I want Score Bunny. Okay, let's check out this guy who's a grass type. So this is the grass Pokemon Grookey. I think I'm going to do Score Bunny. I really, really do. I like Grookey. It's kind of cool. He reminds me of a monkey. And then the one I'm forgetting is this little guy, Sobble. No. Now I read something online that said probably the best choice to begin this game would be with Grookey. It kind of gives you an advantage. But I really like the look of Score Bunny. Although, I wonder why it looks like Score Bunny has a Band-Aid on its nose. Okay, I gotta take a look real fast one last time, sorry, at Grookey. It is really cute. Hmm. I'm gonna go with Score Bunny. The grass type's cool, but... Yeah, I'm gonna go score bunny. It's just super cool. Actually, mm, 
This is always the hardest part for me, picking a starter Pokemon. All right. I know I don't want water. Okay, I'm doing a score bunny. Yep. All right, let's do it. Here we go. Yes. I don't give my Pokemon nicknames. You guys, let me know in the comments uh, if you're watching the replay. Hey, look, score bunny turned me red. <laughs> Added to my party. Nice. No, I don't get my Pokemon nicknames. I never have. Oh, he chose the one I was going to choose. Well, that I was trying to decide between. Grookey. I feel bad for the water type Pokemon. He's all by himself now. See, he's sad. Poor thing. <laughs> so Charizard is a fire type, right? Or dragon, fire, and then this is a water type. Interesting. All right, enough of all this trainer nonsense for one night. Dinner's ready, children. Bring along your Pokemon and let's all eat. Barbecue. Guess you don't have to worry about running out of propane with Charizard hanging out, right? The next day. You spent the whole night with that new partner of yours, right, Hop? You two getting on all right? Understanding one another? Maybe even built up a bit of love. Of course I have, Lee. Rick's made fast friends with his score bunny, too. And listen up, new trainers. Believe in yourself and your Pokemon. If you trust in one another and carry on battling side by side long enough, then someday... You might even become worthy rivals for me, the unbeatable champion. What are you looking at him for, Lee? I'm the one who'll be coming to challenge you. You think Rick might be able to challenge you? Then I guess he's my first rival. But I'm not planning to lose to him and miss out on my chance to beat the unbeatable champion. Just having a Pokemon with you doesn't make you a real trainer, you know? I sense a little bit of jealousy there. Proper trainers raise their Pokemon up to be first rate in battle, too. Oh, and you think you're worthy of calling yourself such a proper trainer already, huh? Guess I'll be the judge of that. Let's see how you handle yourself in a battle against your friend if he's up for it. What do you say? Willing and ready to take Hop? In the first ever Pokemon battle of your life? Eh, let's do it. Why not? Believe in your partner Pokemon and take and care for them too with all of your heart. Do those things and I'm certain you'll learn to choose the moves that suit your Pokemon. And more importantly, have a champion time battling with them. Looks like everyone's on board. Pokemon and trainers alike, then let's do this. I watched every match that Lee's ever had. I've read every book and magazine he left behind at home too. I know exactly what to do in order to win. But do you? Haha, <laughs> because if he's putting out a grass type and I have a fire type, I already have an advantage here. But he's not. All right. Or maybe he is. I don't know. I don't know what type that is. We are going to fight. And we are going to use tackle.
Lo miro. Is he throwing out his other Pokemon? He did. Well, that's not fair. How can he have two against my one? Oh, Grookey has a stick. I didn't know that. Ooh, I have Ember. We're going to use that. Mm -hmm. Yes, I did already know about type advantages. And we're going to do that Ember again. This will knock him out. Effective, fainted. Level seven. That's two levels up. Just from one battle. That's not bad. You beat my two Pokemon with your one. Ugh, you and that score bunny are too much. Well, that was a shock. Guess I know now why we thought he should give you a Pokemon too. You and your Pokemon all fought hard. Made me almost want to let out Charizard and join in all the fun. Good effort out there, Score Bunny. Why don't I get you all sorted? And Rick, you've got real promise. In fact, I've got a favor to ask you. Be a rival to Hop, would you? Push him and make the both of you stronger. I already want to get stronger and stronger. You see me battle now, Lee, so come on, you gotta take me to the Pokemon Gems. You, join the Gem Challenge? You think you're ready for the single greatest competition in the Gala region? Not put in the cart before the Rabidash there, little brother. That's really what you want to do. You two have a whole lot you need to learn about Pokemon, especially your friend Rick. Before you think about getting Gem Badges, Best to think about getting a Pokedex. A trainer's Pokedex helps them learn lots of things about all the Pokemon out there, including their strengths. But it's more than just a collection of data, you know. It's a record of a trainer's love and passion for Pokemon training. Right, 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 we get it. Pokedexes then, we're on it. Looks like it's off to the Pokemon Research Lab for you and me, Rick. And that's the kind of enthusiasm a trainer needs. I'll let the professor know to expect you. I'm going to be the next champion, so completing a simple Pokedex will be nothing. Just another page in the tale of my legend. You probably better go tell your mom that we're heading out, though. All right, all right. Back home to my home. Maybe not. Ah, did he, that Pokemon, knock down the uh, gate that we saw earlier? Mm-hmm, that's what happened. It, it was tackling the fence pretty hard earlier. You don't think it actually broke through there? Yeah, I do. I do. So what is that, the forest? What is that area? Oh, we got to save it. Hope you're ready for anything, because we're going in, Rick. Yeah, we are. We're going to get in trouble. All right, let's go. But I don't even have any Pokeballs, so I don't know what I'm supposed to do here. Where do you think it got off to? I don't know. Sure looks foggy in here, though. If we don't find that Pokemon soon, this might be trouble. Yeah, you think? Especially if it starts getting dark. Uh-oh. I have no Pokeballs. What am I supposed to do? What is that? I don't even know how to say that.
Um, I guess I'll use Ember. See how that works. That was really effective. Defense down. Um, I'm going to try Tackle, even though I know Ember would knock it out. I want to save that for maybe another fight. Okay, it worked. I have no Pokeballs, so I can't capture anything. So he kind of like helped me out. I don't think I have any Pokeballs. Unless somebody gave me up, but I got none. Oh, I need to save though. Let me save real quick. Save your progress. down again yep let's try tackle well that's a new kind of view there's like a weird split screen thing that happened there for a minute things again. Scrove it? Uh, I don't know how to say that. Right, I'm going to get my video. I'm going to get my personal video off of the screen so we can see full screen here for a little bit. Alright, let's do a fight. This one seems stronger. It's only a level three though. I'm level seven, so this will knock it out. All right. That did the trick. be in real trouble. Well, I don't see him helping me. He just bailed on me. He took off. And the fog is thick. Soupy. Man. This is mad. I can't even see my own hand in front of my face. I think I get now why this place is off limits. Yeah, you guys are going to get lost. Are you going to find your way home now? Uh-oh. Hey, that's... What in the... That's the legendary. I don't know what he just said. Triple question mark appeared. Oh, like, you're really going to be able to do anything against him. If I was smart, I would run because fighting this guy is going to do absolutely nothing. But you know what? Humor me. Why not? <laughs> He's like, yeah, whatever. What? That move had no effect on it. Of course. 
Let's growl. Intimidation. Yeah, that did nothing. <laughs> Whoa, you see his eyes? That was kind of cool. He made the fog. I can't see anything. Are you okay? Should I run? Like, I'm kind of thinking I'm supposed to fight, but at the same time, I'm kind of thinking I'm supposed to run. The moon has no effect. Yes, I know that. Oh, he made more fog. Now I really can't see a single thing. I can't see anything. Ah! What just happened? He knocked me out. Hmm. Where's my score bunny, though? Wait, who's that? Is that? Oh, that's Leon. How'd you manage to find your way here? Your pants with directions? I don't understand that. Your pants with directions. You always get lost. Well, that's nice to hear from the little brother who had me worried sick. I've been waiting ages for you two, and you never showed. Of course, I came looking for the both of you. Wait, where's the Walu? We're trying to rescue that Walu. Yeah, he found it. The little chap's just fine. Though all of you had fainted by the time I found you here. You know, this place is out of bounds. But it took courage to come in here all the same. And I understand well enough why you did it. You did good, Hop. Yeah, at least that will lose, all right. Yeah, Rick. I thought we had it when that weird fog started rolling in. That mad Pokemon attacked. I thought it was cool. But at least it wasn't all for nothing. Attacked by some mad Pokemon. What are you talking about, Hop? It seemed loads stronger than any Pokemon I've ever seen. And it just had this sort of presence. Our moves didn't even touch it. I mean, really, they seemed to pass right through it. Your moves passed right through it? So the fearsome Pokemon, they say, live in the slumbering well. Are they actually illusions or something? But strong enough, and maybe the two of you could be the ones to reveal the truth someday. For now, let's simply get out of this place. You'll be all right now that I'm here with you. Even if we did get an airfall from Lee, what an experience. This will make a pretty fine first page in the tale of my legend. Okay. Don't forget to tell your mom we're off to Wedgehurst now. She'll go spare if you leave without a word, even worse than Lee just did. All right, all right, all right. Home it is to say... Bye. She's over here, though. She has the Pokemon symbol or the Pokeball symbol on the pockets of her overalls. Ah, yes, I heard the news from young Leon. I'm glad someone bothered to tell me. Off to Wedgehurst, are ya? I love how they're always like, see you later. A bit of pocket money for your journey. Buy yourself a little something at the Pokemon Center. Maybe some potions or something. How about some Pokeballs? Remember that Score Bunny will battle to the very end for you. So don't go pushing the poor deer too hard. <laughs> and you, Score Bunny, look after my little Rick. Come home to rest any time that you need. After all, east or west, home is best. This seems like a good time to save. All right. One last look at my room. Later, Pika. It's a plush of a Pokemon Pikachu. It's super soft to the touch. Evie. 
All right, let's go. There should be a Pokemon in center in here, right? Yes, down here. Oh, I gotta talk to him. Here we go, this is quite the big step, you know. My first step becoming, to becoming the next champion. Guess I'll probably train up Grookey a bit by having it battle against Pokemon in the tall grass. You should get yourself to the building with the purple roof and the great red and white ball. That's where I was going. It's the research lab. Okay. Actually, I wasn't going there. I was going to the other place, but I'll go there. Why are they blocking my way? Seriously? All right, whatever. Potion. I want to fight that one. That one looks cool. Nick it. Looks tired. Ember. Kind of derpy. <laughs> split screen thing that it does. It's kind of neat. Tackle again. Ooh, quick attack. Alright. I really need to get some Pokeballs. I almost made it to the next level. see one right here. Potion. Paralyze heal. You know what? If I battle one more, I'll level up. Let's do that. Should be able to make quick, quick work of this guy. Let's do Ember. Seemed to work really well last time. Mm, so, so. tackle. Mm, it's going to take another one this time. Down to half of my health. That took him out. All right, cool. I should level up now. Level eight. Yep. Nice. Learn quick attack too. That's cool. All right. Now we can. I want to say hello to Charizard because I really like Charizard. Before I go in the research lab, I. No, it is going to make me go in the research lab first. I am strong. Look at me. <laughs> okay, then. All right, let's go in here. Well done, you reached the goal and managed to find the Pokemon Research Lab. Why is Charizard sneaking up on me? You did a far sight better than I did my first time. I'm hopeless with directions. See how your world has already grown? All thanks to having Pokemon with you. Yep. Now in we go. Professor Magnolia. Everything in here looks fascinating. Bowark. Oh, that's a cute dog. What is it today, Leon? Looking for info on a never, be seen, never before seen super strong Pokemon? I wish you'd stop with these outlandish requests.
Good to see you too, Yamper. She got cool boots on. Yamper here is a real champ when it comes to helping you find your way around. He came to my rescue plenty of times back in the day when I got lost on the road. Oh yeah, and that's his trainer, Sonia. What can I say about Sonia? Well, I like the way she cooks. She makes food you can gobble down in a flash. Tisk, what kind of an introduction is that? Did you forget we were rivals during our gym challenge? It wasn't just Yamper helping you out, I did too. Anyways, nice to meet you. Name's Sonia. I'm the professor's assistant. This is Rick. He's a new Pokemon trainer. Set him on the right path, would ya? Later, Yamper. are handy little things, aren't they? They've got a map and a navigation tool. That said, Leon still gets lost, so... I'm oh, sorry. So tell me, do you know a lot about Pokemon? Um, I kind of do. Well said. In that case, I'll make it short so you can use the Pokedex on your Rotom phone. Just so you know, the Pokedex is a gift for my gran. Did you let Gran know that you've received the Pokedex? She lives in the house down along Route 2. Alright. Well, thank you. So, I guess I will be... Oh, wait, wait, I want to go see Yamper. I want to go see... Oh, okay, whatever. Hey there, trainer. Sorry to stop you. You left the Pokemon lab, right? So it means you got a Pokedex, right? I love talking to new trainers and giving them useful stuff. I got a potion. to go over here. Ah, uh, just want to go in the Pokemart. Yes, I got the Pokedex. Yes, that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to go into the Pokemon Center. There we go. Now I can get some Pokeballs. And I can heal up my guy. Of course not. Yes, I have to go to Route 2 as well. But... First, let's do this. Yes, I'm gonna rest my Pokemon. Score bunny. I actually have to find a Pokemart unless uh, I think he sells. Yeah, right here. I'm here to buy. stuff. No, I don't want anything. No thanks. I need Pokeballs. Wait. Hmm. This is probably for check boxes. Oh, my Pokemon. Yeah, I don't need to do that yet. Okay, well, let's exit here. Why is she laughing? This month's birthday horoscope is spot on. You want me to tell you your fortune too? Sure, why not? In that case, tell me the month you were born. 
Okay. Let's just say November since we're in November. I don't know. What should I put in? Let's say nine. Sure. Let's see here. What's this stain here? This must be from my snack. The page is smudged and I can't really read it. Um, people with your birthday are going to be super duper lucky. You might even run into a legendary Pokemon or maybe not. So anyway, see you later. I feel duped. She asked for my birthday and then she said that she stained her, her paper. <laughs> All right then. Let's see what's here. Fresh pick berries? Hmm, I don't need any berries. Thanks for asking, though. Okay, this looks like a clothing store. So let's check that out. Well, that's cool. So I can get some clothes. I really need Pokeballs, but let's see what we can get dressed in, because uh, I just want to see what we got. Loose top, loose top, striped top, kind of expensive, casual tee, oh, those are kind of cool, Ooh, I like that. Is that a shuckle? Hmm. Kind of like the hoodie. Free hoodie ain't bad. Skinny trousers. How come they don't have black pants? And they're kind of expensive too. Loafers? No. I don't want that stuff. Canvas travel bag. I don't really think I need to buy anything right now, to be honest with you. Probably come back later and buy something. Oh, that's kind of a cool hat. I could deal with that. But still, I think I need to... I'm gonna wait. Well, mm, you know what? No, I'm not done. I think I'm gonna just buy this black top. It's kind of cool. There. Yes, I'm done. Oops. Yes, I'm done. That's better. I kind of like that shirt better. All right. Uh -huh. Who's this dude? Oh, something is hiding in the bushes. Polka doll. And I'm back. Video in the corner. A doll that attracts the attention of a Pokemon. It guarantees escape from any battle with a wild Pokemon. It's a Clefairy doll, I think. Okay, can I find a place to buy Pokeballs? That's the big question here. Listen, Rick, I've been thinking if you're a Pokemon trainer now, you must want to try your hand at the gym challenge, right? The gym challenge? The gym challenge, mate. The annual competition where trainers can battle it out for the right to challenge the champion. But the trick is you've got to be endorsed if you want to take part. Sounds like a... a sponsorship and Lee doesn't seem to think I'm up to snuff 
So I'm thinking I ought to talk to the professor and see if she could help. You gotta take part too. A proper rival is just the thing every trainer needs to keep growing stronger after all. Keeps you motivated, right? The professor's house is way down at the end of Route 2, so let's head there and give our teams the chance to train up a bit along the way. I need Pokeballs. Can I just find some Pokeballs, please? Like, I, I want to buy some. But I guess I gotta go to Route 2. Or I could go into somebody's house who I don't know. How rude. Now I'm gonna go back out. Alright. Let's talk to this dude. That's where the Pokemon professor lives. That's kind of a cool house. Digging that. All right, let's check it out. We're going to go over there. I still need to get Pokeballs, though. I really, really do. Yeah, what's up, dude? It's time we filled in our teams a bit. And I'm here to teach you how. <laughs> he totally jumped. He's like, ah! You'll need to catch Pokemon if you've got any hope of filling in that Pokedex. Yes, I know that. Every Pokemon has got a type or two, which can make it good against some opponents, but poor against others. That's the reason you'll want to catch different Pokemon to cover one another's weaknesses. Yes, that is correct. All right. A wild Waloo. Rickaby. You gotta get him down, and once he's down, then you throw a Pokeball at him, right? See, why is he using a Pokeball on him now? It's gonna escape. How do we capture him? Okay. Typically. I'll give you some more Pokeballs. In return, I only ask that you catch plenty of Pokemon. The Pokemon around here seem easy to catch, almost like they're itching to join some trainers. Wouldn't you say? Yeah, it seems that way. Ooh, 20 Pokeballs. That works. All right, sweet. You put the Pokeballs in your bag's Pokeballs pocket. The Pokemon in your team will get experience points when you catch Pokemon too. Of course, they get experience points from battle, so take on the other trainers you meet along the path to help your Pokemon thrive. Your team will keep on changing and growing as you get stronger together, no doubt. But even I don't know exactly how yet. Show your champion something good, all right? Yes, all right. All right, all right I'm going to catch loads of Pokemon. The professor will be shocked when she sees. All right, good, good, good. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Ooh, I want this one. Super cool looking one. I like it. Nick it. Alright, so... If they said they're really easy to catch, here is the question. Do I wear them down first or do I throw a ball at them? I almost feel like it's a waste to do this, but I'm going to do it anyhow. And see if I can catch them. Which I'll be shocked if I do. One, two, three. Hey, hey, Nick, it was caught. I didn't have to wear him down. Very nice. Dark type Pokemon. Cunning and cautious, this Pokemon survives by stealing food from others. It erases its tracks with swipes of its tail as it makes off with its plunder. I don't give my Pokemon nicknames. Do you guys? Nope. Flying type. Why not? Rookadee. Why is my team nervous? Shouldn't be. 
All right, let me throw a Pokeball. One, two, three. Man, these guys are easy to catch. I don't have to do much. bird Pokemon. It's a flying type. Jumping nimbly about this small-bodied Pokemon takes advantage of even the slightest opportunity to disorient larger opponents. No nickname. I want to try to avoid these guys if I possibly can, because I really don't need another one of them. So... Let's see what this guy is. <clears throat> Challenged by Youngster Jake. Here we go. to fight ember oh i forgot i have quick attack too that's kind of cool he used tackle i'm gonna do quick attack this time that's pretty effective Got him. I gained experience. Level nine, level six, and level five. Whenever there's a strong trainer, I always look right at him. All right. There's that purple house I gotta go to. this two potions trainer tips yes i know that all right can i go down here no i cannot go down there uh, i'm gonna have to battle her wait what is that who i want to think that who is that shootle It's a weird looking one. I don't think Ember's gonna do much, but let's see. Mm -mm, not really. Fight, quick attack. Water gun. Is it water type then? Oh, if it's a water type, that's not very good. Um, I need to swap out. I'm gonna do Nick it. And what is beat up? Let's do beat up. That was not effective at all, even with the triple hit. Um, let's do quick attack. Hmm. This guy, ooh. I will change it back to score button. 
And hopefully I don't get knocked out. Ooh, that's bad. Time to use a potion. There we go. Much better. One more and it should do it. Oh, what am I doing? I was fighting it and I totally forgot to capture it. Oh my gosh. Well, at least I leveled up. I was not even thinking correctly. How's that for not thinking? And I need some potions because I'm gonna have to fight her. So let's take a potion and use this potion on my score bunny. Let's take another potion and use it on Nicket. And that should be good. And now let's battle her. Cute and strong together in combination. You're challenged by Last Lauren. Oh, I just fought a Cheetle. Oh, man. Let's do Tackle. My Tackle's more effective. Definitely more effective. One more and it should do it. That's it. Level up. Does that give me a new move for Score Bunny maybe? Level 10? Nope. Are we cute and nothing more? It looks like our strength still has a ways to go. <clears throat> All right. I want to get to the professor's place. This guy's all sneaky. Look at him. I want to fight, he says. Fine, fine. Youngster Benjamin. Blip bug. I think fire type may work well on this. Let's do an ember. Attack. Oh yeah. One hit wonder. Nick it. No, I don't want to switch my Pokemon. It's, it's all good. Um, yeah, let's do Ember again. It's going to take about three hits on this one. Um, I think I'll do Quick Attack this time. That was smart. And, uh, sure, why not quick attack again? Done. Not bad. Look, there's the professor. 
So, have you unraveled all the secrets of the Dynamex phenomenon yet? Oh goodness no, the whole thing is still full of questions. I'd hoped that my granddaughter would take over my research, but... Dear me, I'm sorry, I didn't even notice my guests. My name is Magnolia. Welcome, young trainers. Now come, let's head indoors. Yes, I am. Yes, I will try to have it completed in no time. Dynamaxing. How many different types of tea there are? Hey, Professor, do us a favor, would you? Help me convince Lee he should endorse us for the gym challenge. Oh, Leon, why wouldn't you endorse them? Pop and Rick only just started out as Pokemon trainers. There's still loads they don't know yet. Dearie, I thought even your dream was to have everyone in the Galar region become strong trainers. Isn't that right? Well, yeah, you're not wrong. The goal's precisely the reason I gave them both Pokemon, in fact. Right then, in that case, how about this? Let's see if the two of you can show me such a brilliant battle that I'm left but no choice to endorse you. And don't worry, I'll, be, I'll make sure that both of your teams are in good shape before the battle starts. Okay then. Yield up, and I guess we're going to battle. So we got to go outside to do that. Let's battle. Maybe. Hurry it up, Rick. You got to battle me so I can get myself that endorsement. Well, let's go. Come on. Yes, yes, yes. I will come at you with everything I've got. Of course, of course. Yeah, she's going to watch. I'll try. Maybe I should have gathered or captured a couple more Pokemon. I don't know how many he's got, but I may be at a disadvantage. Let's we'll see. He's got three, I think. Yeah. All right, we're even. All right, fight. Ember. Should knock this guy out. Yep. Level up. 11, 8, and 8. Home claws for Nikit. That's cool. Home claws for Rookie No, I'm not going to switch. Oh, wait. Rookie. Yes. I'm going to switch, because that is a water type. Um, I think I'm going to go to the flying type. Keeps on growing stronger. Branch coat. Huh. You can poke my eye out. Well, that's a good move. Super effective. Well, look at you. Seems you've really learned your type matchups. I kind of have.
Who's he going to put out next, though? That is the question. All right. Last one. He ain't going to get an endorsement this way. I am. Ruka D, another flying type. Um, I am going to switch. I think maybe this one I'm not sure on, but I'm gonna switch back to my score bunny. team is too nervous to eat berries. Oh yeah, that's a good one. He's burned. So he's going to take damage on turns, I think. Yeah, this is a good matchup. Why not finish him off? That's it. A quick work of them. Oof. Gutted that I lost, but I'd expect nothing less from my rival. And I even got my Pokeball throw perfect too. The sting of defeat and the joy of victory. I guess going through both is the key to the two of us getting stronger, right? Yes. Can't win all the time. After seeing a match like that one, I suppose I have little choice but to give you both an endorsement as champion. What did he give me? Because he just kind of went like this. Like this. I didn't see a letter. <laughs> Maybe it's invisible. All right, cool. You may both be young still, and plenty rough around the edges, but it was a proper battle. Charizard and I were both feeling the excitement in every last cell of our bodies. Op, you've always tended to get caught up in things like how you throw your Pokeball out, Things that have nothing to do with real strength. Honestly, I'd been worried about you still obsessing over that sort of nonsense, but it seems you really have grown a bit, little brother. And I'd like to see some more thrilling Pokemon battles out of you too, Rick. All right, Rick, you and me are going to train up against one another to aim for that champion's title. Sure, why not? The more we keep battling against one another, the more our Pokemon will grow. Huh? What's that? Shooting star. Huh? Take a look at this. They're wishing stars. Since there's two of them, you should take one yourself. Okay. What is a wishing star? It is a stone found in the Gala region with a mysterious power. It's said that your dreams come true if you find one. With one of these, my Pokemon can Dynamax. They're gonna be massive, yes. Okay. Trust, trust you to pull something like this. They say wishing stars fall down for those who have a true wish in their heart, you know. I'll be the greatest trainer ever. I will be the greatest trainer ever. I will be the greatest trainer ever. There, I've said it three times, so surely my wish will come true now, right? But we all know what happens when you say Be Beetlejuice three times, right? <laughs> Don't be silly, Hop. Those wishing stars are composed of a curious sort of rock containing unknown power. They're one of the most precious resources we have in the Galar region, but they won't do a thing for you in that state. Give them to me now and I'll have you sorted. 
All right, you've done heaps of research on the Dynamax phenomenon, haven't you, Professor? Then please give Rick and me the power of the Dynamax to our Pokemon. First, we got a battle against that mad Pokemon in the slumbering world, and now this. It feels like we're really getting caught up in the adventure of a lifetime. I do understand your excitement, young man, but don't get carried away. You want to save your energy for tomorrow's journey. We do. Seems I came back home at the right time for all the excitement. <laughs> you lot, why not have some dinner? You must be hungry, right? I've been totally obsessed with making the latest trending curries. Curry, yeah. It's time for our adventure. Just telling them weird heavy fog and the weird Pokemon. We tried to fight it off, but it passed. Yeah, okay. Just gonna give them something. Is it the Dynamax stuff? Yep, Dynamax Band. Slipped it onto your wrist. A wishing star has been affixed to, affixed to it. It lets out a light that allows Pokemon to Dynamax when at a power spot. Okay. Those are your Dynamax Bands. I, I made them by fitting the wishing stars you found last night into those bands. Just like the one Leon has on him, too. Now we can Dynamax our Pokemon like he does. It's not as simple as all that. There are a number of conditions you must meet in order to ha hope to have your Pokemon Dynamax and take on that gigantic form. Now, don't be afraid to go all sorts of places and meet all sorts of Pokemon. That'll help fill your Pokedex, too. The legend of my reign is finally about to begin. Come on, Rick. I'll beat you to the station. Time to save. And with that, thanks for watching. If you watched the live stream, thanks so much. I will be doing more of these here in the very near future. If you watch the replay, or if you're watching the replay on YouTube, let me know you liked it by giving it a thumbs up. Feel free to leave some comments down below as well, and I will catch you guys next time. Have a good night.